reach home to three of our four Asian elephants, of course, we're off to do home.
were forced to move, but it gives us an appreciation of just how skilled and powerful elephants are at moving these large objects, and why they were often called the perfect Asian tractor. Now also, when they're logging, they'll be using, they will often use their feet to do so, and you might have seen Pak Boon earlier kicking the football with her foot. Now elephants can guide, manoeuvre and kick objects around with their feet with great precision and accuracy. An interesting fact about an elephant's foot is it is formed in such a way that elephants actually walk on just the tips of their toes. But the majority of elephants' uh, foot is a cushy sole, which helps to spread their weight as they walk around. Now surprisingly, elephants even use their feet to communicate with each other. So in addition to the trumpeting and roaring that elephants are well known for, they also make a low frequency rumbling sound that we can't hear. Now this sound travels through the ground and the vibrations are picked up by special sensors in the elephant's feet and this is how elephants are able to communicate with each other over very long distances. And there you'll see Pak Boon doing her balancing act over there. Now for such a large animal that's quite impressive. Now uh, they are the largest of the land animals and when fully grown an Asian elephant can weigh up to 5,000 kilos. To give you a little idea there, Pak Boon who was just balancing on those rocks there is a tad under three and a half tons or 3,500 kilos. Now what's really incredible about this is that elephants get to this large size by eating only plant material. So over the course of a day, an elephant can eat over 150 kilograms of food and drink over 120 litres of water. Now as I mentioned earlier, we have four elephants here at the zoo. Now the elephant you don't see here is that adult male elephant bull. Now Boomy's cooked his father and he lives in his own bachelor pad which is just past the seal show towards backyard the bush. And if you have a look over on the right, you'll see Cook is doing a pretty good balancing act herself over there. Now male elephants leave the herd of puberty and they tend to live in a more solitary and independent life. But we still take our females over to see Boom for brief social visits and for breeding opportunities, which suits Boom just fine. Now Boom also gets several training sessions throughout the day, which he really enjoys and thrives on. Well, I hope that after watching our elephant playtime today, you will agree with me that elephants are truly remarkable animals. Now, we're very proud of our elephant program here at Taronga, and we're confident that they will continue to have happy and healthy life here in Sydney. Unfortunately, the future is not so promising for Asian elephants in the wild. Elephant habitats are still being destroyed at an alarming rate to accommodate the ever-increasing human population. Poaching of elephants to their tusks, just like the ones that Gordon has, is also an increase to fuel the black market demand for ivory. Now today, there are fewer than 34,000 Asian elephants remaining in the wild, classifying Asian elephants as an endangered species. Now elephants have worked hard for our benefits for centuries, so now it's our turn to work to secure a better future for them. Now there are many things, easy things that we can do to help protect elephants and their habitats. Now it can be as easy as in choosing to buy only wood or paper that's from sustainable sources. Also, be sure to stay clear of anything that says it's made from ivory. And if you do happen to see any ivory for sale, you should report it to the authorities immediately. In fact, you can now directly report any illegal wildlife trade simply by downloading the free app developed by Taronga Zoo called Wildlife Witness. Now you can check out more about that app on the graphics around the elephant exhibit and there's lots more information for there on those, on those graphics. Now, if you've been inspired by our beautiful elephants and feel you would like to do more for them, we do have a donation area located in the information hut just in front of the gift shop. 100% of your donation goes to the Taronga Foundation, which helps to fund support a variety of elephant conservation programs. Well, it looks like our elephants are wrapping up their training session this afternoon. I hope you've enjoyed watching our elephant playtime. And on behalf of the elephant team, I'd like to thank you all for coming and hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Here at Toronto Zoo. Thank you. <laughs>